Okay, I'm very excited. I've been uh, really looking forward to this unboxing. This is from uh, my good buddy Scab over at Choir Boys Cutlery Outdoors. And uh, this is gonna have some big knives in it. So I should probably raise up my situation a little bit here. Let's see, maybe I'll tilt down my situation a little bit right here. All right, let's see what is in here. This is gonna be so cool. I just happen to know that. Just came home from work and found this on the door. Well, it was brought in. I was so excited that I didn't really have much of a chance to set up properly here. As you know, Scab has an abiding love for large, awesome knives, as do I. And he just has some doozies. And I think I know what that one is already. Just from the feel of it. Um, this is very promising. All right, we have three knives. Oh. All right, which one is this? Oh, this is the tomahawk that's making the rounds. This is the Jake Hoback tomahawk. Oh, this is cool. AEBL uh, milled, and then it's got this. Uh, so it's milled out of a piece of AEBL full tang, looks like, and then it's got this. Man, this appears to be aluminum, machined and sandwiched perfectly it, it's hard to even see the seam uh, but but you don't feel the tang of the blade anywhere uh wow this is cool this is pretty cool it looks rather medieval to me it's got this nice spike on the back as you can see this has seen some serious use uh from scab and from kc of knives fast and i know this is uh i think lefty had this uh this has done the rounds oh i'm happy to uh take a coconut and try this out i need a i need to get a couple of coconuts to try out a couple of instruments of chaos that have uh either come through my hands or i have recently acquired oh look at that Jeez, that's just that's a friendly friendly fella here love this this is beautiful and then you got your little nice touches of blue anodization we'll see about this sheath uh carry systems for tomahawks uh, can be a little this is uh this needs a little off camera finessing I think but I think I got it right there. Uh when it when it came out of the box this blade was sticking out or the spike. This is very cool. Thank you for sending that along. Greatly appreciated. Now, what do we have here? Work tough gear. Oh, okay. I've been very excited to check this one in particular out. This is a sax. Ooh, this is nice. How it comes out. Oh, wow. SK85, very sharp. Oh, that is so cool. Whoa. Oh man, you know I got a sax itch. And uh, I'm coming off my Bowie itch, I think, now that I have the notches. That doesn't mean I'm going to stop buying Bowies, but maybe now I can expand the field. Wow, this is razor freaking sharp. Beautiful uh, canvas micarta handle, or maybe that's even burlap, but very nicely refined and shaped. Oh, man, does that feel good in hand. Man, that's a beauty. Oh, that's cool. I love the straight, the fully straight blade. And that that tip is wicked. Okay, what do we have here? Let's see. Oh, man. Christmas at Scab's house must be awesome. All right, let's see. Ooh, another work tough gear. Yeah, that, that sheath is a little much for my taste. Uh, but you know what I mean. Like a little, especially for a taco. The reason I like a taco sheath is that you can get closer in and have a smaller... Uh, footprint but you know that's picking nits oh wow 
Whoa. Wow. Whoa, that feels so good in hand. And I was wondering if this contoured handle was going to be too big for my hand. And it's not. It feels great. Now, I don't know what this model is. These, this is first impressions, and I'll find out what these are again, uh, what these models are called. But, man, first of all, it's so cool to see all of the use that's been put on these. That means uh, I kind of feel free to take them out back. And whatever I do, I know is going to be less uh, extreme or less hardcore than uh, their owner, uh, Scav, has put on them. Not only does he uh, do a battery of really awesome tests, I love the stuff he does with tires, uh, but also I just think I'll, I'll tend to not want to, you know, risk damaging his knife. But man, I don't know how you would damage this thing. I think that's 5 sixteenths of an inch thick. Hang on, baby. I'll be right there. Okay. And look at that tip. Man, that's nicely done. And man, do my hands need moisturizer. Work tough gear. I got to get work tough gear into my life. I think I'm intimidated by the process of getting them. I think you have to be alert and aware in a, in a different way than I am, <laughs> which is to say I'm not always alert and aware to drops, even of companies that I'm very interested in. Wow, I love this, Sax. This is wicked. I cannot wait to chop something with this. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Scab, for entrusting these beauties. I will take good care of them and uh, get them back to you post-haste.